Welcome back, everybody. My name is Tank, and today we're talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. I'll be giving you guys my thoughts about where we are in the market, as well as where I think we might be heading in the near future. Currently, Bitcoin is trading for $40,993. We have risen out of the hole since yesterday's low, which was right around $37,319, to where we are now, giving us a total price increase of right around 9.06%, or $3,379 currently. That's a pretty good move to the upside for Bitcoin to make. If you guys didn't catch my last few videos, I told you guys this recent selling pressure or downtrend or pullback or whatever you want to call it looked weak to me. It looked really weak to me just because of the time frame that it took for us to get down to, you know, almost 12%. We've pumped up in less than a day's time, 9%, guys. These swings can happen like that into the double-digit uh, percent ranges. So whenever selling pressure comes in with a lot of wicks on the bottom end of the candles that look like this, and it takes a long amount of time, like five days to, to play out, to me, that looks really weak. And again, I was telling you guys that over and over and over. I was buying these dips. Hopefully, you guys were too. Not financial advice, just always try to share with you guys my opinion about things and the way I see it and view the market. But I told you guys it looked really, really weak. And sure enough, we pumped back up to the upside. 41,000, 42,000 is the price range of resistance currently. We need to break into that $42,000 price point for Bitcoin and then flip that as support instead of resistance. We've been trying to do that over and over and over for the past couple of weeks. Uh, unfortunately, we have not done that just yet, as you guys can see. Uh, until we do that, I'm still not going to flip bullish, bullish, like total only bullish uh, and say the trend is actually reversing until we actually flip that 42,000 into support. Uh, until that happens, guys, I'm going to be kind of skeptical and be a little bit conservative with my positions and with um, my opinion about Bitcoin. We are set up, though, very nicely to test 42,000. And it, in all in all, my opinion about the short to near future is we look really bullish right now, guys. We look really, the setup looks fantastic. Matter of fact, let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Uh, right now, on my four hour time frame, I have what looks like a bullish flag uh, being printed. I kind of zoom back a little bit so you guys can see that. So down here would be point one. Up, that's point two. And then into here would be point three. Let me go ahead and sure i'm not going to write on this into here would be 0.3 and then up out of this would be 0.4 it looks classic classic pattern of a bull flag right now it looks like we can come up here get to two ping 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 get to four and up and out boom that's what it looks like and then on top of that what we'd be doing is creating a w pattern inside the bull flag that's uh that's just what i'm seeing guys not financial advice but it looks perfect perfect inside and outside of the charts Things right now look perfect for Bitcoin to see high price points. Watch the market. Let it tell you what it wants to do and don't try to front run it. Make sure if you're taking positions, if you are trying to front run it, that you're taking conservative positions with tight stop losses in either direction. Let's go on over to the three hour time frame, see if Marcus F B shows us anything any different. Right now, it does look like we can come down a little bit, which would play perfectly into my bull flag, guys. If we come down, Ping on the bottom one more time, which here, which is right here in resistance. Now, this is just, it could get all the way down to 36. It could get to 37. You know, there's always room for for, for wiggle room. Uh, but it can get down to this level here, ping off of it, come back up, find support, and then break through. That would literally complete a perfect bull flag, in my opinion. So if we come back down, that'd be a perfect setup to once again regain stamina, regain our, uh, our, get our second win before we make another push to the upside and break through. Now we could do it here. We could do it right here and just kind of break through. That'd be fine. You know, I'm obviously not going to complain with that, but if it looks like the way it looks like to me, and it's going to play out the way I think it's going to play out, it's probably going to come down a little bit, test this level of support, then come back up. That's just what I'm seeing guys. Uh, not financial advice again, but just making you guys aware of what I'm seeing. Let's look on over to the two hour some lag on trading view yeah two hours looking i don't know kind of mixed signals guys we're kind of rounding out here on the r size we're red in the money flow which again would bring us back down would be perfect would be absolutely perfect and normal wouldn't freak out about that because then that would be blast off time to get us up out of this bull pattern one hour one hour showing us that we might be coming up guys mm, we could just dip up out of this though don't front run it Wait for it, guys. Let the market tell you what it wants to do. Let's move on over to ETH. ETH is, of course, the main focus for everybody right now. On the one hour, uh, this is on Bitfinex's chart. We actually caught a uh, green dot on Marcus Cypher B. Our size are pointing back up. Guys, I would not. I've been saying this. Do not sell your ETH. 
Not financial advice, just my life advice to you guys. I can do that, right? What does it take to be a life advisor? Um, don't sell your ETH, guys. You guys are crazy. Let me show you guys what's going on right now with ETH before I jump into other time frames. On uh, crypto quant, this is the all exchange reserve amount for ETH. This is a big broad view of what's happened for ETH. This is the, the amount on reserves right here, this line. Look how it's just been decreasing, 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 decreasing. It's 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 like almost, almost, it's not at its all-time low, but it's almost where it was at an all-time low before, guys. This is the price. This is the reserve amount on exchanges. There's less and less of it to be bought or sold on exchanges. You guys are crazy to be selling it right now. Just based on this chart alone, with scarcity comes value, right? Guess what? This is becoming more and more rare on exchanges. Why are you guys selling it? Um, also something to keep in mind right here, guys, this EIP, uh, what was it? EIP one five, five, nine just launched yesterday, right? This is the burn, uh, website where you can literally see how much ETH is being burned with every transaction. Uh, let me go ahead and refresh it so far since yesterday, 4,836 ETH has been burned since the start of the mechanism yesterday. You guys are crazy to be selling a scarce asset like ETH. You guys are crazy. I wouldn't do it. I would not do it. Matter of fact, let's go look at the charts real quick, guys. This is on the one hour time frame. Wow, look at that again. Look at that wick again, much like yesterday's wick. It's all wick, no candle. I don't even want to call it a candle. It's just all wick. Um, that happened on the four hour time frame yesterday as well. Look at that right there. Boom, boom. Anyway, this is the one hour. Boom, boom. Uh, we're going to go back up slowly. We caught that buy signal right there. We are in the uh, the red for Marcus Effort B. So again, I'm kind of just waiting this out. I bought certain levels of this dip already, so I'm not going to kind of front run this. I'm already comfortable with my positions. Uh, two hour, two hours, some lag going on. We're in the red still, kind of going sideways here. Three hour, looking like we're coming back down. So yeah, we caught a little support right now. We could come back down to 2750. Uh, we could even come back down into 2700 range. Uh, that'd be totally, totally normal for ETH, guys. I don't even, have, I'm not even going to do TA right now for ETH because I'll just be, blunt with you guys you guys are crazy to sell your positions right now if you guys are traders i get it you guys trade with the market swings right but if you guys are long-term investors y'all are crazy to doubt eth right now crazy in my opinion um but yeah things are looking super super bullish right now on the four hour time frame and above we're in the green uh we're just kind of rounding out right here i think we get back in later today into the 2800 dollar price point for ethereum Guys, it's only a matter of time until we push into that $3,000 price point for Ethereum. Y'all, crazy, don't sell it. Uh, going on over to ADA. I'm sorry, I still have these lines up here. One day I'll explain it to you guys, I promise. Um, but ADA looking really, really bullish. Again, if you guys weren't aware, Japan is going to be listing ADA on their major exchange there. Once that happens later on this month, expect major price increase on ADA. Also, smart contracts are right around the corner for ADA. A lot of expectations are out positive expectations for ADA. People are really, really, really bullish on ADA. I would not be selling your ADA. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. Um, yeah, but look at this on the four hour, guys. We're just up, 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 up. The trend is your friend. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Anyway, guys, that's what I'm seeing on the market right now. I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys have not liked the video, please consider liking the video or subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. I'm going to be soon going live with my uh, with my streams here soon. It's just a lot easier for me to do that instead of uh, editing things and all that stuff, even though I do make a lot of grammar mistakes. I have to edit quite a bit. Uh, I will be going live here soon. Um, I haven't picked a time frame just yet, but when I do, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing. You guys stay blessed. Stay profitable. Peace.